So in this video, I'm going to be talking about drawing as a design tool. Really, the drawing is the designing. There's nothing, nothing more direct between your mind, your brain and your hand than drawing. So I guess uh, the computer skills come a little bit further down the track, but at the stage of spatial planning and designing, you really want to be um, putting pencil to paper, pen to paper, and uh, thinking through all those iterations or all those possibilities that could happen. So, and they might, they will range from good ideas, great ideas, to really bad ideas, to the idea that you actually run with. So um, I guess the, the drawing doesn't have to be necessarily beautiful, but it's really important that we get all of these ideas out of our head and onto paper. So one of the first things you'll be thinking about when you design a space is how you're going to be breaking up the space. So, um, you know, I might have some requirements uh, in a particular project that I might like to be jotting down here as well, um, such as uh, an entry foyer into this gallery space that I'm um, working on, or um, a uh, main exhibition space, and maybe a quiet uh, reflection area. So I can sort of have those things written down there. I find writing things as well as um, um, drawing them helps me to give some sense of form to uh, a space. And we can even sort of put a little bit of color there that might help us later. So, I find also having a few different pen weights. I've got my little um, basic floor plan done in quite a thick one. And um, I can begin to kind of work out where I might want these things. So I could have an entry foyer, for example, happening in this area here. Um, then I could have my uh, main exhibition space here and my quiet reflection here. So I could label these. Um, as such, so I'm working quite quickly. I can give it a little bit of um, color coding. And it's about having some um, sense of proportion, so but the scale won't necessarily be right. So I can um, do some foot traffic coming through the direction of the foot traffic. They might come through this entry foyer and then they pass over this threshold and come into the main exhibition space. And then if they want to go out to the reflect, quiet reflection area, they can go um, in that direction. So I've kind of got this um, sort of thing happening here. So that can be helpful to work out some things. Of course, I don't have to have the entry there. I could have the entry come along here. So this could be my entry. This could be um, the main exhibition space. And maybe I keep my quiet reflection over here. So now I have sort of a different um, direction sort of happening, a different way of the foot traffic moving through the space and then back out that way. So they can be really helpful little quick diagrams to get your head around spatial arrangement. Once I've um, decided on something like this, then I could move on to 
adding potential walls to this. So maybe um, if I have, this is my um, main entry foyer, this as the, the main exhibition, and then maybe the quiet reflection space. Maybe I'll pop the wall in here. Um, and maybe I can get down to the specifics then of uh, maybe adding stairs that go up to a mezzanine, for example, with my quiet reflection space underneath. Um, then I might go, you know what, it would have been much nicer to have that doorway lined up here with that. Um, or maybe I have two doorways. Maybe I go through all those kinds of iterations uh, in my drawings quite loosely, quite, quite freely, um, until I get all of the ideas on paper, the good, the bad and the ugly, then I can really begin to work out lay it all in front of me and think which is the best, which is the most feasible idea to go with. So um, so that's a great little uh, way to explore your ideas in terms of spatial uh, layout. Um, now that's for whether it's a commercial project or a residential project, it all comes back to that drawing and I think that that quick messy drawing is is really good we're not worried about it being finished we're not worried about it being perfect we're worried about getting that that overall look and every idea down on paper as many as we can so you know you can photocopy your your rough little drawing of the plan you can put lots of notes around the side and say you know I like this idea is might be better for whatever reasons, I can pop all of that down. So I think just getting it out of our heads onto paper is uh, really beneficial.